Drum Editor has always been a mainstay in Cubase, and it's always been very useful for making quick drum clips and drum loops, and I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, use of it for doing just that. I've got an empty Cubase project, and the first thing that I need to do is add a new instrument track. I'm, gonna, I'm going to click on Project and select Instrument. This is going to bring up the Add Instrument Track dialog box, and I'm going to click where it says No VST Instrument and select Halion 1. I'm using Halion 1 because most people are going to get Halion 1 free with Cubase when they buy it. And so once I've got that all set, I can click Add Track. And that's going to create a new track for Halion 1. Now I want to open up the Halion 1 inter interface. And I want to go ahead and pick a preset. I'm going to stick with something drummy. And let's use the Acid Jazz Kit. An Acid Jazz Kit should work pretty well for this. So the next thing I need to do for using the drum editor is I need to select a drum map. And a drum map is going to tell Cubase how it should communicate with Halium 1, what MIDI messages it should send out into Halium 1 that are the preset MIDI messages that stand for where a kick is played and where a snare is played and things like that. So. If you take a look at the track inspector right here, you're going to notice you have the option no drum map. I'm going to select GM map. This means general MIDI map, not uh, general motors map. You're not going to be driving Cubase anywhere. And when you selected that, that's going to use the GM map uh, for this track that Halium 1 is assigned to. You can select other maps if you want. You can do your own drum map setup. Um, but the GM map is typically going to work just fine. So now that we have that all set up, now we need to create a MIDI clip that we can edit with the drum editor. So I'm going to do that by using the draw tool and draw is right up here in my, my toolbox right here. I'm going to click on draw and then I'm just going to click once in my Cubase timeline, my arrange timeline right here. And that's going to create a new MIDI clip. So now with this MIDI clip selected, I can click on MIDI and select open drum editor. So now I've got the drum editor. And you're going to notice right over here uh, for pitch, this is the key that then plays back the instrument uh, that is linked up to the general MIDI map that I have selected that will then send that MIDI message out and back into Halium 1. So now I want to use the drumstick tool, and if you don't have it selected, uh, although usually it will be automatically selected, but if you don't, take a look in your toolbox, and right here you see the drumstick. Select the drumstick, and now your icon is a drumstick. And now you can just go ahead and you can click to create new events that will link up to the instrument that you're playing back. And you can see these are syncing up to my grid, and so if I change my grid settings, that's going to change where these uh, little diamonds show up. But each of these diamonds is going to represent a sound that I'm going to make. So I've got kick drums, and then I can do a snare. Oops, that's a clap. And I can do a couple of other sounds here. So you can really quickly and easily just click around, as you can see, create a drum loop and that's it so now I can just play this back and I will hear my MIDI notes being played back to me through Halium 1 so that's pretty messy obviously but I didn't spend much time programming it but you can see that by doing this you have quick access to just creating notes and creating drum loops you can get really in depth with the editing or you can just make a quick loop to play along with or go over a guitar lick you've created or something like that. As always, I hope that this has been useful to you guys. Uh, please feel free to get in touch with me, brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And until next tutorial, take care and happy music making to you.